A lot of kind of classical Japanese cinema might bring to mind kind of um, the samurai films of Akira Kurosawa. These big kind of sweeping action character led films which inspired a lot of then the 70s kind of new wave American Hollywood cinema. I'm going to ask you guys a few questions about being part of the committee um, and just film society in general. So my first question is, do you think that societies are important at university? And if the answer is yes, then why? I think I'll let you two be with us at the start because I, I don't have... Okay, I think they're really important because I think it's a social hub where you actually have some sort of like uni influence as well as just like being social like everyone chooses to be there but then you know it's just a like it's, it's just another excuse to have fun yeah and involve the uni in with that i think you know the vast majority of people that come to university will say one of the main reasons they came is to meet people and and obviously you meet the people you live with you meet the people on your course it's just another opportunity to meet other people that like similar things to you um and you know at university you've got to find housemates, find stuff like that, it's a great place to do that. Um, yeah, very, very important. I still think society is incredibly important because of some of my previous work. I've seen examples of this. People that have social difficulties really, really thrive in more structured social environments. So people that have um, Asperger's or XYZ, and these kind of environments allow people just to engage with a uni social experience in a regular routine way, which isn't typically available. And I feel societies like ours, societies like the anime society, the Japanese society, they give people a chance to have a full university experience they wouldn't necessarily have otherwise. Yeah, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I agree with all yeah. of you guys. And I'd say for me personally, I joined societies, yeah, from a social perspective. I just wanted to meet people and mm. make friends. And it's also fun. It's like yeah. doing an activity and, you know, doing sort of stuff like this costs money in the real world so being able to do it for free at uni is actually quite a sort of I feel is quite a privilege in some ways mm. and it's good to take advantage of it what you can so um question number two uh what inspired you to take on film society this year we've been talking about it for about a minute so I think mm. to do something that we wanted to do for ourselves like you know, we were going to New York Ice House and just watching films yeah. and socialising. And then it's like, well, we've got, like you said, making the most of our resources. We've got big screening rooms. We've got this, we've got that. Let's just do it. The main reason I think I really, really pushed this to happen and got you guys have been really, really good keeping it going is just it's fun. Yeah. And we get to hang out and get to watch films. And like, that's what we love. I, I don't really care if anyone else turns up at the end of the yeah. day. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is it. Like we talked about, obviously, joining societies and that being social, but yeah. sort of slightly different to that. We made this society as a four friends and wanted to watch film. If anyone yeah. else wanted to come along, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, for us, it was free rooms, free films, and, and a nice time to see each other at least once a week while we're busy doing other things. And people on the course, right? Cause yeah. Because particularly in the first semester, we stay connected with like Amalia and all her friends via this kind of societal screening, which was amazing. So next question, did anything that you learnt on the course help with any aspects of running the society? Were well, your speeches at the beginning things that we learnt about films mm. and you were able, like in, like, in front of an audience talk about this film was this, this and this because we learned about this and this technique yeah. or something like you were able to apply 
um, knowledge to our screenings for people who wouldn't know that and things that you talk. So that's something. I, I think so. Yeah, it's kind of because we've covered so much on our course because we've covered like cinema industry, we've covered film festivals, we've covered just film like appreciation, academia, understanding in general. When it comes to film society, we've kind of used like a little bit of everything yeah. to an extent. Like mm -hmm. we've kind of learned how to promote screenings and promote events, and then we've applied that via film society. Mm -hmm. um, particularly what you were talking about, I put on a classic season over the um, second semester, and that kind of crosses a whole load of different Venn diagram areas mm -hmm. because I'm selecting films that are classics, but I'm trying to create a film program that interlocks and works together. I'm trying to do one of our main missions in film society, which is try and like get people to appreciate slightly less than normal films. I really failed, very few people turned up because it turns out classics are a hard sell, but we still got to use all these different skills. Even with like making video trailers, for example, that's like practical editing skills, that's um, finding footage, audio, all these different things. You know? mm. Last year we did the film festivals um, module and we had to design a film festival. And I feel like although this isn't a film festival, there is a bit of that that does come into it. And so as a sort of slight alternative question, did any part of running Film Society help you on your course? I helped our work experience module, right? Yeah, Because now whole thing. Yeah, we get to claim this was our work experience. Even us sitting watching the films is us taking time out of our days. So now we can use this as part of our work experience modules. And mm -hmm. some of the skills we've learned, like some of our promotional events, as I mentioned, haven't gone so well. What have we learned from that? What could we have done better? Some has picked with Stan working with other societies. Went super working well. with other, yeah. I mean, some went really well, some went really badly, and we learned things from both of those situations. And then that all feeds into our reflective report on work experience at the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sets you up for the road ahead. And I've definitely watched a lot of films that I wouldn't have watched if I wasn't watching them with you guys, like that, which just helps broaden your knowledge and everything, which is you know part of the degree and also just general film knowledge. But um, that's been a big part of it for me. Because the films that I would like to watch, and, but I'm also never going to watch on my own. <laughs> so it's, it's a great place for that. Yeah, I would have said something similar. I got to watch a bunch of films that I would never have normally chosen. But as a result, I discovered stuff. And even if I didn't absolutely adore every single film we watched, it was still good to, it's good to widen your horizons. Because actually, even watching things that you don't necessarily love allows you to understand the things that you do love and why you love them, um, yeah. which I think is all part of our course as well. For you guys, what was the best part of running Film Society? It can be anything at all. The club afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Dolly, square. It's got to be Dolly Parton's Christmas on the square. Thanks yeah, to it. me. It's got to be out. And like 10,000 Instagram accounts. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's what you got. Democracy's a lie. Like, yeah. um, so for our Christmas screening, we put up like four options. And um, the option we all decided we wanted to show was Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square. Oh, think, yeah. And so what we did is through all of our various accounts, we voted for that several times on the Instagram polls and rigged the election, basically. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think about 75% of the votes were, were us. By our different yeah. accounts of us, yeah. yeah. And it's stuff like that I'm going to remember and think was the most fun, like the funny stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, yeah. absolutely came back to us when we were the only four people in here and had to watch it. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> right was before so assignments were due, and I had to go back to the library <laughs> after we finished. But, yeah. but we all enjoyed ourselves. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's the oh, yeah. That, I, I would say that was one of the most fun screenings for me because yeah. we just sat and. Because yeah. we're all just like laughing and, and, and like looking at each other, being like, why are we here, really? What was the most challenging part of running Film Society? I've got one. When everyone ditched me. And I had to do the Pakistani society all on my own. Um, uh, oh, that was yeah. really stressful, and I was really nervous. And I was literally first time me being like, "How do you burn the computer on?" <laughs> <laughs> um, but it all went smoothly. It all went actually. That's such a lie. It didn't. Um, the film was in the wrong language that they gave me, and I tried to find it somewhere else, and it was all like palaver. Also. I didn't realise how big the Pakistani society was mm -hmm. and about 3,000 people came. At least, although you were nervous and although the film was maybe not the best film to show, um, at least loads of people showed up and yeah. they wanted to watch that film and you were able to provide that for them. That's yeah. essentially what film society is about. And so... Yeah. I slept well that night. I think it's exactly. it's a good thing, in fact. Like, and they've wanted so to collaborate with us again ever since. Like, right, so proof that it went well then. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. What about Yana? What did you find difficult with it? Um, 
I found it a bit hard in second semester when, during the classic season when interest waned. I felt that that was a little bit of a shame because, I mean, at the end of the day, as we said, we're doing this as a group of friends. That's kind of what's important to us is to sit here as a group of friends and watch the films. Um, so it didn't matter, but I thought it was a shame mm -hmm. that um, people sort of fizzled out a little bit. Um, but then, you know, Stanley swooped in and organised more collaborations and we got more people again. So that, a, a sort of challenging thing was then saved by solutions and good solutions. What is the most important lesson you learned through running Film Society? Do the stuff you want to do because you want to do it. Mm -hmm. I think that's the biggest lesson I've learned. And it's sometimes not the best attitude to have. I do have this attitude of like build a castle and people will come. But I think that's kind of true. If you make something and you commit to it and keep working on it, you get your own rewards from that regardless of its success, I think. And so I put a load of effort to this. I've shown some, some of my friends, some of my favourite films. I've got to hang out with people consistently on a weekly basis. And I'm happy with that. Uh, I learnt to like the more that you're involved with like other people, the more that kind of similar to you, but the more you're willing to give to people, the more you're willing to like give back, and I think mm -hmm. I definitely learned that through collaborations. Sometimes people are not going to be interested in every single film you show, so they'll show up one week because the film that you're showing that week they like, and they won't show up the next week because the film that you're showing that week they're not that interested in, and that was a learning experience for me because. I think I was a little bit of the mindset that if I just put in loads of effort and super enthusiastic, then everybody would come every week all the time. But that's not how life works. That's not how people work. Um, and I, So I'd say that's, that's what I learned was that people will, due to the nature of film society, people will come intermittently. They'll come one week, then not the next, then they'll come the next two weeks, and then not. And that's just a little bit the nature of film society. Um, Definitely with Film Society you learn that you can't expect anything. You can put a film on that you think everything is going to go so well and everyone's going to love and no one turns up and then you put on the most completely random other film and it's full. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can't expect anything yeah. and you just have to do your best at what you do. And like Film Society is slightly unique in that sense in that most of the other societies are, they do put on events and stuff but a lot of their meetings are just groups of people who like the same thing, meeting up and going for drinks or going and playing mini golf or something. Whereas we are, although we're a, you know, a society, a social place people can meet, you do sit there and watch a film. So it's like people only come when they're kind of A, interested in the film or B, just want to relax for a little bit. Like, and, and meet people and be social, but you are, a, you know, it's very easy to watch film at home on your own. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. It's, it's, you know, it can be a bit different. But you mentioned the Freshers Fair. I actually forgot about that. I really, really enjoyed that too. Yeah, yeah I had yeah, a lovely time there. Guys just sitting talking about films yeah. and people and trying to. Um, that first original one where like Cameron did all the work and made the little questions and got yeah. the sweets and all that stuff. That was yeah, yeah. Like leading up to it, I stayed up like all night, which is not a me thing to do. Oh no. And I made these little sachets out of the IMDb top 50 films with a film quote on each of them. Nice. And had little sweets in. So when people came to our stall, we'd say the quote and see if they could guess the film. And that really got people engaged and excited about Film Society. Mm -hmm. And like, um, I still got some of them pinned to my board at home. Nice. And I kept them. And um, that was something you were really good at as well. Just because I enjoyed very, that a lot. Yeah, yeah it's fun. If anything, I'd suggest you do like promotional stuff in the future. Yeah. Like, you're just good at talking to people. Yeah, I mean, I would agree. Um, okay, and so do you think that running Film Society has helped you develop skills that will be useful in the professional world? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially with using social media. Do you know what I mean? Because everyone has an Instagram account, but then now we're actually trying to be professional with it and use it for promotional purposes, mm -hmm. use it for engagement, use it for like advertising. Do you know, it's, it's, very, it's a good platform to use. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Like um, for me, one of the big things I've learned over the course of Film Society is how to make film trailers because I kind of wanted to learn how to edit better. And so I use Film Society as an excuse every week to put the film trailer. And actually from one of your collaborations started this, it's when um, we did a collaboration with African and Caribbean Society. Yeah. And they did this kick-ass trailer. And yeah. I talked to the guy, Ivan, who was doing it. Yeah. And he told me, like, every time I met him, just some new information about how to do a trailer, how to yeah. get the aspect ratio right. 
you can see in the trailers I was making, every conversation I have with them, they get a little better. I figure out how to move the video and get framing right. I figure out how to get the aspect ratio right so it fills the screen of the phone. And like, that's a whole set of skills I wouldn't have had previously. It's to a point now I'm considering, can I do a whole short film, which is designed to be watched on a phone in that vertical aspect ratio, and just try and shoot around that. And that's something I never would have thought of creatively if I hadn't have done all this in film society. Mm. All right, that's just cool. That's also a good thing as well, like um, networking and things. Do you know what I mean? Like, you network that. You, I don't think you would have, like... You That's know. a really good point. Networking skills, yeah, yeah. It shows how important it can be. And, yeah. like, all these social media contacts we've kept and people keep offering us stuff. Like, when yeah. we... um, What did we promote? Uh, the Documentary Club screening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we collaborated with Documentary Club as part of their thing to help them promote. And Stan, through all her contacts, got this thing across every social media platform, every story it was on, because we had all of this good credit built within the societies. Yeah, because you're making a good... Like, you have a good rapport with the vegan society, with the Filipino society, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden, you've got this happening and you want to promote it and you've almost got these like friends and helping you and it's just nice and i think um just just general organizational skills yeah. i think it's and taught organizational skills in a way that you um might not learn in another setting like i feel like when you're at school or at college it's very sort of academic and then when you, you come to uni and you do a creative subject like film you're already broadening things a little bit but um film society sort of taught us actual practical skills that we maybe wouldn't have learnt in any other environment. Um, what to do when the lights don't turn off. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we I, had one screening where the lights wouldn't turn off. I, and, you know, sometimes things happen unexpectedly. How to deal with stuff that goes wrong, you know, that is a really important life skill. Finally, I've got a slightly easier question. Would you recommend to future students to join societies and um, even run them? Yeah, I definitely <laughs> would. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think the thing to remember is join a society you care about or be with people you care about. Yeah. But I guess that is something I've learned a little bit is is as, as, as part of running a society, when there's a lot of new people come, a new person comes in, you obviously try to be welcoming and, and you're as friendly as you can, but then if they never show up again and then someone else new comes and never shows up again, like you don't really get to know them that well. And as someone going there and joining it, you might not feel massively welcome the first time, but once you've come maybe two or three times, I know as organisers, when we see someone that's been comes again and like that, we get really excited. Like, oh, they're, they're going to be here for a little while, and then you get you get to know people much quicker once you've been there two or three times. So I think if you go the first time and maybe you don't feel like you've met your best friend straight away, give it a couple of goes. And I do think that coming more than once or twice makes yeah. a big makes a big difference. It starts building a community, but then also like we're talking about things that that we learnt so much we by running it by being a part of it, you know. So just like learning and like personal growth, I think it's a good thing to have. Yeah. I think taking responsibility for something as well. That um, you're proud of. That you're proud of, yeah. Because um, as I've, I, I haven't shied away from saying good and bad of what's happened in film society, but I'm still proud of everything we did. I still take responsibility for everything that happened, you know. Mm. And I'm so happy that I did this because what would I have done with my time otherwise, you know? Just... Again, a bit like taking advantage of free stuff at uni. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the same thing applies here, is actually when you're at university, this is the perfect time to do these slightly scary things. Because what's the worst that can happen? It wasn't the best society running ever. Nobody died. <laughs> it's far from being the end of the world, you know what I mean? Um, and it's actually an ideal moment to try these things because again, out in the professional world, if you've got a job, you're being paid, people rely on you. Um, you you're not going to be able to sort of just, well, hey, I'll just do whatever. Um, you're whereas, not going to have the time, right? Whereas, you know, at university, I mean, you know, there was a bit more organisation that went into running film than just, well, hey, whatever. But we, we were kind of going into it blind. None of us had ever done anything like this before. And it still worked um, out. And it still worked out, so. I think also for... Uh, we were in quite a unique position where we were four friends who decided to restart society together, but people joining committees of already existing societies, you're going to get to know the other committee members really well and you can make some really good friends there. Well, uh, thank you guys. That's all my questions. Thank you.